Hey everyone, welcome to ProSmart and in this video, I'm going to talk about 5 pros and cons of the Realme 3 Pro. So let's get started. So you will get this S-curve design. The fingerprint sensor is in perfect position. There is a metallic ring around the fingerprint sensor and it looks really good. Then you will get the camera module, the 16 megapixel camera and the 5 megapixel depth camera. You will also get a really cool looking uh, metallic ring all around the module and also a yellow circle around the primary camera module. So yeah, it looks really good and the overall design of the phone is really good. So if you are looking for a phone for its design like the back cover and the also the not the notch is really good as you can see the notch is a teardrop or water drop what you say whatever you say the notch is also good it is not a normal notch which we have seen which we have seen in the Zenfone Max Pro M2 not a bar notch it's a teardrop notch and it, it looks really dope with the display and also the back looks really good the second one is the color OS now we now I didn't use the color OS 5 I have heard the color OS 5 had a lot of bugs and the OS was not that good but but honestly when I use the realme 3 pro the color OS is really good there are no lags there are no bugs and the entire experience is really smooth so as you can see here is the app tray you will get the search bar over here and all the settings and options are there in the color OS and you will get all the settings in the settings and the icons of the settings are colored and yeah it looks really dope and I like the uh, color OS 6 the phone has a great RAM management. I mean, I used uh, Facebook, Instagram and I played games and I kept uh, running the apps in the background and surprisingly coming back after 15 minutes or even 30 minutes, the app kept running. You can keep running certain apps in the background and you won't face any lags or issues with it. The RAM management of the Realme 3 Pro is great. So, so I got a lot of comments about the updates in my past review video. You can also check the review video of the Realme 3 Pro in the cards. I will link it here. So basically with the updates, you will get timely updates like two updates in a month. So as always, you will get the security patches update every month and now and then you will get small updates improving the camera or even the gaming experience of the phone. Third thing I really loved about the phone is the battery life. Now again, a lot of people complained about the battery drainage issue. Now honestly, I'm using the Realme 3 Pro as my primary device and I didn't face any battery drainage issue. The phone kept running all day. I just charged my phone at night and then use the phone for the next day life is really good on this phone if you face any drainage issue take the phone to the service center or just run some troubleshoot to fix the problem the phone also has wideband l1 support so you can watch netflix and amazon prime videos at 1080p full hd the call quality of this phone is also great now here is the front speaker whatever sim company you use the call quality will be great there is the inbuilt screen recorder so in the quick settings icon you will find a screen recorder option and record whatever you want you can record gameplays tutorials and whatever you want also the grill me game space is a great app to boost the gaming performance you can add pubg critical ops or whatever game you want if you don't find the do not disturb option in the settings do not disturb option is there inside the game zone or the game space sorry after the recent update, uh, Realme has added a lot of gestures like you can swipe up, you can swipe left and right to change apps and go back and forth. There are a lot of gestures in the settings. Another thing I really loved about the Realme 3 Pro is the navigation keys and bars. So you can also change the navigation key in the settings. You can move the back button to left or right. You can change the home button. So the color OS is filled with customizable options and it is really amazing. You can customize all the things in the settings. Fourth one is that there are no ads. Like Redmi phones have a lot of ads in the system. There are a lot of bloatware which is unnecessary apps and that you cannot uninstall. So the Realme 3 Pro doesn't have any ads. Uh, with the recent update, they have added the i think it's game center and app market there are only three bloatwares you can also uninstall google apps google duo and whatnot the app opening time is also fast like if i open instagram it will open fast and everything and the response is really quick so like this it will open the app and it closes one more thing a lot of so one more thing a lot of people was asking that can you run games in full screen yes if you are playing pubg or any games like that yes most of the games will run in full screen so there will be notch customized option in the settings you can uh, play games in full screen and also if you don't want to play games in full screen if you want to hide the notch 
you can also turn that off in the settings last but not the least thing that i really loved about the phone is the camera performance the photos are gorgeous the saturation is on point so the camera performance is really good uh, i compared the camera of the realme 3 pro with the zenfone max pro m2 and watch that video to know which phone is the winner and i really love it now a major update has arrived and you can now shoot 60 frames per second videos at 1080p and if you shoot videos in 60 fps the videos will be buttery smooth and everything in the video will be in focus and the video will be rich in detail so finally these were the pros now coming to the cons like after the recent updates games are very laggy and there are some frame drops and i really don't know why it has snapdragon 710 and after the updates the game became a bit laggy like here is the example i, I was playing pubg this star uh, i was playing pubg this morning and there were some frame drops and i don't know what is it is not that good the game is like not smooth even one month ago when i was playing game in hd high frame rate setting the game was buttery smooth but now even in high or even in medium the game is choppy and laggy i don't know what happened but i really want